Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my video, and as you can see by the title today, this is going to be a renowned glitch on the map bank to help you out. You may have seen this before if you're a proper actual subscriber, you may have viewed it, it's on bank, it's very easy to do, and it's similar method to the last Tachanka thing I actually did do. A lot of these Etrican Renowned glitches are very kind of popular, there's many different ways, but today I'll be talking about it, how to do it, obviously doing other stuff, but there may be quicker versions, there may be longer versions, there may be way versions to be able to get you more Renowned, but apart from that, we're going to just do my version today, I might do a video on obviously what version is the best, but today we're just going to get straight into it. So if you're new in here, subscribe if you're new, hit that like button, turn on notifications because it really does help out, and if you've done all three of those stuff, then you might as well comment an Amazon giveaway and get entered for the £100 voucher. But apart from that, let's just get straight into it. Now, before we do start to get into this terror stump, because it is a terror stump, you want to make sure you see your daily challenges, see if there's anything you need to do. For me, I need to get three headshots and win a terror stump mission. Today, I should be able to do that within one game. And to be fair, I do a spent as well. I can do that as well. I just got to play two rounds of them. Very easy to do. So you've got to think, I could probably get around 450 Renown extra just for that one game. And that is quite a lot of Renown when you think about it. But let's go over to your matchmaker preferences and sort it all out so you know what you're doing correctly. So over our matchmaker preferences, you want to make sure that you go to Terra Sun, protect the hostage is the only option. Then you want to go down, make sure that you want bank. No other map, so as we did see last time, we had Hereford base, I believe. So just pretty much press apply. After you've done that, just come out, go over to your Terra Sun. Then all you want to do is make sure it's realistic. So as you can see, no more realistic, just launch it straight up. And that is pretty much self-explanatory and easy to do straight away. Now what you want to do, I kind of have to have that whole someone's invite me to a party, I apologise, but you want to make sure you're in full. Then after that, you want to make sure you are Tachanka, and then from there, make sure you can have any gun. I recommend using the SMG, you don't need the shotgun necessarily, but you do need your deployable shield. From there, just apply, easy and done. You guys, to stop the video midway, I just want to say this is a very important announcement. If you want to be able to get yourself free stuff such as vouchers and stuff like that, Make sure to go and download SpeedyCoin. SpeedyCoin is a very insane little app. Now this app is very easy to use. All you got to do is literally download a bunch of offers and literally get points by it. The more apps you do download, then the more points you do get. And the more points you get, the better reward you can get. Now it's only 3,000 points to be able to get yourself a $15 Xbox voucher. Super easy to do. And to be able to actually start it all off, you need to download two offers to be able to validate your account. So just make it authentic, but it's not like anything like where you click it and it does anything random. It's literally by downloading an app, doing those two of those stuff. And as soon as you've done that, you've literally made your account authenticated. Then from there, like I said, literally just keep downloading apps, get yourself some points, fill out surveys, and then from there, it's easy to do. But if you want yourself a little head start, make sure to use MZNYT in the referral actual bit to get yourself a few extra extra points just to get to close to those little rewards. Now you've got to think it's super easy to do. You can do it while you're actually in Rain Six Siege in the preparation phases or even the phases where you don't want to do anything like picking your character. It takes two minutes to do and why not do it? But apart from that, I'll leave the link down below and also my referral code to get you some extra points. But apart from that, let's get back into the video. So what you want to do first of all is literally go get your shield, place it in front of this kind of vault doorway, place it just in front and barricade it behind it so they can't get in through this way at all. This will stop me getting through so obviously the actual terrorists won't get it, but you have to be quick with this whole kind of setup because you only have about 15 seconds. Then from there, all you want to do is go straight over to the elevator, as you can see right here. Shoot out right above you so they can't actually breach down and obviously get a hole because you're going to be in this room. Then from there, what you want to do is go and get your kind of Tachanka turret and angle it so you're kind of hidden. There you go, guys. I'm hidden against this. This will give me protection and make sure there's still the little hole there so they can't get through at all or they won't breach and charge at all. There you go, guys. So like that. And now all you want to do is you just wait on this turret and wait for the terrorists to come. And as you know, I need three headshots or two more actually in total and playing around with Spetnaz and also when a terrorist time, I should be able to do this and get myself an extra 450 run out for one game, which takes about five minutes. So you go guys, that was the first one coming in, they all start bundling now, there you go, there's a headshot, just need one more headshot. Also, make sure they don't see you, because if they see you, then the whole kind of glitch about it stops working. It is a glitch, because the terrorist hunts don't see you, or the terrorist, sorry, not the terrorist hunts, but they just don't see you at all, and that's the cool part about it, and as you see, they've just seen me, so I'm kind of screwed now. So that's the point is, make sure you're good with your aim, because if you're not good with your aim, then you're pretty much done. But like I said, if you're good with your aim, your Tachanka turret's good, you've got the health, then you can keep shooting them because your Tachanka turret will kill them before they kill you, before you even get any damage against you, to be fair. 
I'm only gonna play the first round and quit or just die because I want to get over with because all you gotta do is the same for every round make sure to refill your actual kind of stuff because if you don't refill your stuff then you will lose out on ammo and I recommend just throwing as much as you can so it's easy to do there you go guys that round took less than like a minute there's a lot of bodies here they kind of glitched out as well round two going to preparation it does get harder along the way but like I said every single round before each round make sure just to refill your supplies just so you have enough ammo so when you do go back or in case you do run out because they require a lot more kind of bullets to kill later in the rounds i'm back on my turret now i'll just sit there and i'm done there you go guys the start of wave two and now there's a few kills and then we'll just get ourselves killed just to show you how much renown we did get because it will just be the same renown i believe i'm not too sure you may get more because you last a bit more obviously the score's higher but i think for like lasting two rounds you get a 30 something renown which to be fair for doing about two minutes work it's really good and you can keep doing that and get yourself a lot of renown and i'll put like a whole actual renown per hour in a minute of how much you will get so you go guys i just died Fair enough, easy to do. I just wanted to die. It was just easy for me to do. And to be fair, you gotta think how aimed bots these actual kind of terrorist hunts are. You can see they're literally just locking straight onto me. It's super OP when you think about it. Imagine if you could get a glitch which was like this. Like, if you put it on realistic and like fifth round, it'd be sick. But as you can see, 800 score, 14 kills, not bad for like two minutes. Go over, as you can see, 150 renown. If I won the thing, I obviously get more renowns, but you know, I would get a lot more renown. 180 renown. I got in total 38 renown for doing literally a round and a half. Simply easy to do, and all I gotta do is vote for retry once again, and I'm done. I don't have to do it again, but still, that took me about three minutes to do in total, which I did time on my phone. And you gotta think, 100 or about 38 renown will take away the actual kind of challenges, because you obviously might not have any. But you can do this with any operator when you think about it, as long as they've got a shield, really. You get about 800 round per hour if you keep doing this, depending on obviously how quick you can do it. Obviously, if you do the rounds, but that was literally by doing it around one and a half rounds. Obviously, that will get you 800 round an hour. The longer you stay, the more round you would get. Super easy to do when you think about it. And if you keep on doing this over a long time, or like little snippets like two hours at a time, you got yourself 1600 renown. You can take it in turns, doesn't take any time at all. And when you think about it, you could literally just stay in there to die as well and get about 30 round as well while you watch like Netflix or something like that. That's what I would do, and it's a very easy way to do it. But apart from that, that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy, also you did see the sponsorship midway, I recommend doing that. I'll leave the link down below. But also, that really does help out to obviously get those kind of gift cards and stuff like that in case you don't win the giveaway. But apart from that, that's the end of the video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button especially. It really does have help. It helps our video get out there more. And if we can get out there more, I can make more content for you guys. Turn the notification as well because I upload nearly every single day. The last few days have been slacking but I've been away so it's hard for me to do when you think about it. And if you've done all three of those stuff then you might as well enter the giveaway by literally commenting at Amazon a giveaway and you're done. But apart from that guys, until the next video, see ya.